This is Aggie. She was a runtio lamb that nearly didn't survive. Her mother is what's known as the great white yoke. She and her mother are the aunties at the moment to the yo lambs. Isn't that right, Aggie? You nearly didn't live. The Aga rescued her, didn't it? You good girl. So she's a good old yo. Here's another trick. Sheep love, just about any animal loves, getting a scratch right between their front legs because they can't reach it. There's no way they can reach it. So she was about to walk past me and I started scratching her there and she stopped because she's like, oh, that's so good. Oh, it's so good. Aggie likes her scratches. The other place they like scratching. Here, come here. Right on their pole, which is right here. The pole is where the horns would have grown if they were a horny kind of breed. And Aggie is not a breed of sheep. Zwartblas nor Texels nor Suffolk sheep have horns. So they love being scratched where the horns would naturally have grown, but don't. Because they're just, their location there, and the location there, and they're kind of like lumps. I don't know if you can see. They're a hollow area. And then the other place they love is right under their chin. Another place they can't really reach. So right under their chin is another really scrummy place to have a scratch. And they love a scratch. Don't you love a scratch there? You're such a sweetie pie. And she's got little um, whiskers. Let's see, can you see her? No, they're not on that side, but they're over here. White whiskers. You're getting to be an old lady, aren't you? So, she loves her scratch locations. Just about any animal, horses, cows, goats, all love being scratched right between the front legs. It's one location they just can't get. Isn't that right? You good girl, Aggie. Yes. You're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. You're such a good old girl. Yes. So this is Aggie and her story is on my website about how it was my early days on Twitter and how there was a vet from Scotland who texted me information or tweeted information about a new technique for resuscitating lambs that were doing really, really badly and poorly. And um, yeah, she lived to tell the tale and she's raised many triplets and twins, even had a quad once, didn't you? You're such a good girl. So this is Aggie. Yes, such a good girl. We're sitting here waiting. The alpaca are still eating. And the yo lambs have all finished eating. So we're waiting for the alpaca to finish. It's beginning to rain, so the beginning of the storm is approaching. So I'm getting a little damp on my head. Isn't that right, Aggie? You're such a good girl. So that's Aggie. Isn't that right? You're such a good girl. Oh. The funny thing is when you're doing this sometimes and they burp and you can smell their cud burp, which is very minerally and juicy smell of the microbiology in their belly and acids and everything. It's a very stinky belch, isn't it? A very productive stinky belch. So, there's Aggie and me. Isn't that right, Aggie? Yeah. <laughs>